The next step after we've installed the RSP is we're going to go and configure our databases that we want to work with. So we start up the RSP agent, put in our admin and password that we set up in the installation. Brings me in and to configure the databases I can click on the database connection link. That'll drop me in. You can see the settings that I put in when I did the original installation, which I can now change. I can go ahead and say use a trusted connection if your user has SQL access rights, or I can just test the current connection. I've got that right. Um, so I can also double check or change the, uh, the license file if I want to. Now I've got my different databases. So I click on the database tab and you can see all the different company databases that are linked to this particular um, SBO common. I can choose edit and I'm able to flag a database as productive demo or testing just it makes it easy for me to identify which is which. Now the specific system identification allows me to put in a special system installation number and hardware key for this database. I'll explain why in a second. Plus we can also specify a directory for when we schedule a backup task. That's where the backup will take place and the files will be put. So that's a quick look at um, one of our demo databases. So let's now look at our production database. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to choose to edit that. You can see the details we put before. Now the specific system identification, the reason why we put that there is that if um, support sends you through a task for a specific database and you've got that task, that task is linked to a system number. That gives you the ability to run tasks on databases that, are, that have been restored onto your system and you're able to then run those tasks. So I then go back when I've finished all of that, I hit my save button. That commits all of my configuration changes to the RSP configuration database. Uh, and then I'm able to go back to my overview. You can see I've got a green light telling me that my database connection has been configured and that's it. I can now exit out of the RSP agent console and that's ready to go.